Now getting head lice is a rite of passage for most school children, but once the nits have made themselves at home in your child's head, how on earth do you get rid of them and how do you prevent yourself from getting them? <laughs> Dr. Oh. Dr. Raj is here with uh, his top tips for ditching the nits. I um, haven't had so this yet. Explain first of all, you know, sort of what are they, how to get them? So they're really common, they're nothing to be embarrassed about, they affect kids between 4 to 11 years and their families. I know. Now, Head lice are tiny little insects that live on the scalp and they feed on your blood. It sounds horrible, but they're not harmful. They lay those yellowy, whitish little eggs, that's nits, and they not attach dandruff. them to your hair. It's not dandruff, it looks very much like dandruff. Those eggs hatch after about a week, so you get baby lice or nymphs. They grow into adult lice, which are sort of grey, brownish in colour, which will survive up to about a month. <gasps> now, they are really tricky to see, and some clues that you might be affected by lice often is itching or the rash around the base of the neck. Right. You might feel them crawling around, which sounds horrendous, I know. And actually, you may see the eggs or the live lice, but they are really, really tricky to see. And just to show how tricky it is, we've got one in the studio. Don't worry, he's... Um, in quarantine. Safely in quarantine. And, and Let's have a look. Can we see him? Probably on his last legs, but they are Can you see him? so, so small. Oh, there he is. And we filmed that a little bit earlier just to show you what they stay in there, exactly. little one. And look, and you get an idea of how tiny they are. They're only about a millimetre. And do they go to dirty hair? And people will say, well, if you've got dirty hair, they won't go on your hair. So there's, or lots, if you've got... there's lots of myths around them, actually. And, and lice, lice will go to any type of hair, short, long, dirty or clean. Curly straight? Curly or straight. Um, they don't swim, they don't fly, they don't jump. They crawl from head to head, so they need close contact. They're not spread by furniture or clothing. In fact, if a louse gets off the head, it only survives between 12 to 24 hours. You can't transfer them to and from pets. They have nothing to do with lice in other parts of the body. And uh, <laughs> although right. there are lots of prevention sort of treatments out there, there's no good evidence that prevention really, really works that yeah, well. Yeah, because you get a spray, you spray them every can. time you wash We've their hair. some of the products here, actually, and they cost a few quid over the counter. Um, you can use them if you want to. You can even try regular detect detection combing. Are you saying you don't think that really? We don't routinely recommend them, but... Why? Um, they do, the evidence just shows they're not that effective for prevention. However, when it comes to treatment, we do have good treatment options okay. out there. Two main ways to treat head lice in your child or in your family, and ideally treat the entire family that's affected at the same time on the same day. Firstly, you've got chemical methods. So these are things that you can buy over the counter from the chemist for uh, a few pounds. Do these still stink? I remember at school when Some somebody do. would have head lice, it'd be like, all go home, whack it on, you all be there going, yeah. I can't breathe. There are lots of different types of chemical out there. They all work in different ways. Some, for example, work on the louse's nervous system and paralyzes them that way. Um, there's lots of emerging evidence now that lice are starting to become resistant. But there are some products that they cannot super become... Lice. <laughs> super lice. yeah, super bugs. There are some products that they cannot become resistant to, and those, the ingredient you want to look for is something called dimetacone, and what that does, it physically smothers and suffocates the louse, and it can't become resistant to it. So that tends to be more effective than some of the other, pro other products that are out there. Dimetacone, it's called. Dimetacone. And, and